I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. What's up guys, JV2017 here. And I have, excuse me, part two of chapter two of Portal 2. And I'm changing up the way I'm doing this Let's Play. I've actually completed the game as of now. And I wanted to complete the game before I did a Let's Play because... You know, it's really not fun, honestly, to watch somebody uh, go through these puzzles and not know what they're doing. Uh, at least in my opinion. I don't think that would be a very exp fun experience. And I gotta, I, you know, I gotta think about what, you know, you guys are uh, watching. And um, so the ground rules really from now on uh, will be, I have subtitles on. So anytime, and I don't want to talk while uh, GLaDOS is talking, keep that in mind. But uh, any time that I feel I want to do that, or uh, whatever, but um, any time that is the case, then you'll be able to see what she's saying. I'll give you credit. So, I guess you are yeah. listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. Yeah, so um, I'm going to try not to talk while she's talking. I still have the subtitles on, and uh, yeah. All right, so as you can tell right there, in addition to, um, I will not have any uh, loading screens, and the way I do that is a mystery. I will not tell you guys. I'm still recording this live, and it's just a lot better without loading screens. I mean, you can't go wrong with this no loading screens. This so. the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Yes. Which is part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. The <laughs> were highly informative. They could not. <laughs> Oh man, this game is even funnier the second time, guys. I just, this game is so damn good. Like, if you're even contemplating going out and getting this game, I mean, for me, just that it's it's an immediate buy. If you only buy like five games a year, oh man, how did I miss it right there? If you only get buy like five games a year, this should definitely take your list. I mean, that's... I mean, even if you buy way, of course, if you buy way more than five games a year, then yeah, I mean, definitely go get into this game, but, uh... You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Oh, advanced aerial faceplates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Oh, poor GLaDOS. Oh man, what a tough life. You know, being a robot, watching test subjects all the time. Man, she's got it hard. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, so there's actually three achievements you can get in here and I, I've, uh, I know about those because of Rooster Teeth. I'm not I mean, I'm not uh, claiming to uh, have found these out for myself because clearly I didn't. So this is a great room. I love these uh, these aerial faith plates. I love the name too. Uh, Valve, they're, they're geniuses over there. And this game is all probably one of the funniest games I've ever played. And I hope you guys will be able to enjoy it as much as I have. So basically what we need to do is this button releases stuff through here. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Alright, so I avoided the garbage hurtling towards me. That basically just cleared out uh, space for this cube to go through the uh, plates. And I guess the technology is so advanced that when it hits the the uh, the bleh, the aerial face plate, it automatically bounces in the I direction. Was cool. About smelly garbage standing around being useless. That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. <laughs> I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head, which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. 
Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? Whoa! Not cool. I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Companion Cube! Hello, oh, sir. Oh. Did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? Yeah, you did. I'm sorry. God! Go ahead and grab another one. The nerve! Whoops, that was a fail catch. No, I fizzled that one too. Dude, not not cool. GLaDOS oh, well, is we have just houses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Right, GLaDOS, right. Right. I'm keeping my eyes on her. Any funny business will not be going down. Alright, so first I need to get the cube to myself. And I can easily do that by doing this. And now I can safely jump up there with good old companion cube. Also, there's an achievement for going through this while taking companion cube with you. I'm gonna try and get it, and that would be really cool if I got it uh while I'm recording. So I also have another achievement video I'd like to show you guys called Overclocker. Uh, one of the more difficult achievements in this game, so uh, we will definitely have fun doing that, so yes, we will. Okay, so we're across now, which means now I just have to launch myself back on this, this one this time? No? Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, that's not a problem. Voila! And now we can grab Companion Cube, I believe, by doing this. Oh, wait, no. No. Yeah, you put a portal here. And, yeah, we cheated the system. That's what happened. Okay. Every test chamber is equipped with there it is. Alright. This is it. We cheated the system. Break the rules. Companion Cube. Grill and its exit so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Yep. Don't take anything with you. I'm taking com- Aww. Oh. Aww. Uh. I think that one was about to say, I love you. <laughs> they are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. Wow, she's mean. I love Companion Cube. Alright, guys. So I can't believe she would do that to Companion Cube. I, 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 it's just like, what? Why? Remember? I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Okay. So, whoa. What is going on here? The turbines again. Ha ha! I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. Oh, like I could hear that. God. Remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Okay, so the first time I did this, I was like, Wow, this is the gayest puzzle ever, Portal. Blah, blah, blah. And I believe I have a very good grasp of what's going on now. And I say this, but... Wait, are you kidding me? This is it, man. That was all. Okay. Well, I thought there was, um, some, something to do with the portals going through the laser, or lasers going through portals, but clearly I was wrong. And, uh, I am just fine with that. Please check out my channel for future chapters of Portal 2. Peace.